Hello everybody, my name is Alava, and welcome back to Game of Thrones Telltale series. Now, I'm back with the little lady. And previously, obviously, hey, yeah. No, I it, oh, okay, I'll pick it up then instead. Um, obviously we've got Ethan trying to find Asher. Every time we think of Asher, I just think of uh, Spartacus, the TV series. It's quite it's a few years old now. If you've, ever, if you've never seen it, watch it. Uh, da -da -da. Let's pick up some seal. I said let's pick up some seal. Take. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. The king. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Nah, you're gonna betray me. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thank you, Sarah. But I have to do this myself. If you feel that way. Yeah, I do. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Nah, she'll betray me. And I ain't got time for that. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? Whoops. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. Whoops. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. She's gonna go, nope. I don't know, just let me do it. Happy days. My lady. Who's that? Begging your pardon, my lady. Oh, him. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now. And for you as well. You needn't worry yeah. about me. I can take care of myself. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Like you. I wonder if I get to see the mountain. The fuck are you looking at? That's some gold armor. Holy shit. Gold armor. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Oh, here Fuck we go. Him if he's angry, we'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if this needed. This guy loves it. 
Uh, we will Our plan is out. a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Yeah, yeah I appreciate my fucking confidence. Oh, there he is. There he is. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the Thank you, Lord. That's enough. Oh, shit. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? Yeah, I am. The lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. Oh, shit. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Uh, Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. I don't want to bend the knee. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. I feel that's the right thing to do. My Lord. Uh, ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Uh, Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little law. You can't trust a Forester. They murdered our men. Oh, fuck off. It you. was a Forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? Uh. He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord. Hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. Well, let's fucking go then. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? Boom. The little lord does have a point. Yeah, I fucking do. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, 
Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Ah. Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Hey. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. No, you sir. can be my highborn ward. No. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. I ain't having that. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. <gasps> you can fuck off. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Ethan! Oh, oh, no! What have you done? No! But I don't Ethan! want a bold no! lord. Oh. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! Oh, no! Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Oh, Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Brian! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Oh, lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! me! You will not take Stop him! Stop that! Help me! Ryan, please! Let no. me go! No. Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Fuck. Fuck. I did not expect that. Wow. Wow. Your story has begun. Next time on Game of Thrones. Shit, that was fucking quality. Oh, just like Game of Thrones to uh, throw a bit of a curveball at you. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Hey, Jon Snow. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Sweet. That's fucking sweet. Right. Stage with me and 65%. Stage with Bowen. 62%. Oh, holy shit. You and only 16.1% took Eric's lead. Holy shit. So, definitely minority in that one. Only me and 30% picked Royland. And me and half and half. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I'll fast forward to this part and we'll get started on the next episode because this is fucking awesome and I want to carry on playing. And um, we're back. Episode 2. Fuck. So, 
I wonder if Ethan d dies regardless, or he can actually stay alive. See, that's why I love the Telltale games. I wanna know. I wanna know. Previously on Game of Thrones. Okay, even though I know you guys mostly just saw all days, of this, we'll watch it again anyway. <laughs> the North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the war. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Uh, and then anymore. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Wind. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasha. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Ethan. No! Don't let them take me! My son. Here we fucking go. Oh, man. Fucking, I love the Tata games. Love them. Oh. Asha Forrester. Oh shit, he just told that thing to fuck off. Whoa, it, it's just me, Beska. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. Sweet. This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Can I? Yeah, fuck it. It's blood. <laughs> this place could use a good cleaning. I complained to the owner. Fragrant. Fragrant. What else we got to look at? A bit of damage. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Nice having the place to ourselves, though. I'll have that. Yep. Yeah. I reckon that'll come in handy. Do, ba, do, do, ba, do, 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 Ale. Do. It goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? He's that dude. We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that. Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog. Something or other. Don't care really, so long as we get our gold. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. 
Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> Amen to that. They say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best doors when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's not that simple. In the North, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the North. We fuck. have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To us. Aye, to us. Oh. You're not that drunk, are you? Whoops. Sorry. There we go. Oh my god. I couldn't even toast properly. Beskar, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking lost legion here? That Tazal from the Volantis job. Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again. Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Yeah. It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. I they must be working for the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is eight hundred. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Hey, huh? Give us eight hundred and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all cell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell! And we're done with you, too. La da diri, Sombasi. Do ebi me. You just made a huge mistake, Tazel. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte osinas! Bojos me nomi jahosu kizikas! Let's fucking go then. Flip table. Alright, who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of my sword? Kill them! Now! No one's more like. Here's one! Come on! Fuck off. She couldn't pass me! Oh. Oh, uh, Valar, my fucking ghoulis. I keep forgetting all the buttons. Sit good in a pass me! To be that or. You owe me one. Uh.
This is for Volantis! Basker! Fuck you, Ash. Fazal! Cost of Kittis. That was fucking cool. Oh, that was so much fun. You know what this reminds me of? So <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. Still alive. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop. Round two. To Saul! Kill them both! Asha! <laughs> What in all the gods of fire and fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Tazal? Fuck. More on their way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Episodes 2, The Lost Lord. Oh shit, is that the faster dude's son? It is, fuck. That's awesome. Roderick Park. That's cool. Damn foresters. That is so fucking far away. It's gonna be the dad. Fuck, this game's great. This game's fucking quality. That's far enough. Loving it. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. <laughs> Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a lord. Really... A stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale, the, oh, and you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester. Look at... Lee. Now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? Ryland. What? 
Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! <sighs> Fuck, it is all kicking off. It's all kicking off. How the fuck did he survive? <gasps> My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of the poppy. Drink. Come now. Oh. That's it. <gasps> Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him. <gasps> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. Roderick's the fucking As man. As it is, he may never walk again. Oh. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. So I'm guessing my legs, my legs have been collapsed. My legs have been cut off. This, oh, this is so good. Fucking twists and turns everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Oh, uh, my legs been cut off or not? I don't know. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? You're stronger than when I left. Two years is a long time. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Tell them it don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Shit. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Talia. I know you can. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... Hi. I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. 
Only one way to find out. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Roderick the fucking strong. Sweet. Okay, so that's all the time I have for this episode here. This is fucking quality. The twists, the turns. I had no idea Ethan was going to get killed. I don't even know if I could have saved him and I could have carried on playing as him. It's fucking crazy. Or maybe if I kept Ethan alive, would Roderick be dead completely? Who knows? It's why I love the Telltale games. And the fighting's awesome as well. And Ash is quality. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.